hello, how are you? Hope you're doing great. Please subscribe down below. Thank you very much. And welcome to Road Odyssey. So this is part two. Uh, you know, the previous video was about the Paris drag strip. Test in tune. And Larry Young's a uh, nice little collection of cars that he tends to rotate through and his giant ATV with a 54 inch uh, tires on it. Pretty crazy. So yes, this is part two and this will be going over Jocko Mitchell and a sprinkling of C8 news. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Here again is what we looked at in the previous video, the Paris Drag Strip and Larry Young's cars. Now it's time for Jocko Mitchell and Top Fuel Motorcycle Racing. Here is Jocko Mitchell, a motorcycle pilot with nerves of steel. Let's quickly take a look at what is Top Fuel Motorcycle Drag Racing. A typical Top Fuel bike will go from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 1.25 seconds if it's set up for a 5 second run. The motorcycles can easily exceed 200 miles per hour even before passing the first half of the course. The top fuel class bike record tops the speed of over 258 miles per hour. These motorcycles are the most expensive to build and maintain. They are also the most dangerous. A top fuel motorcycle drag racing pilot must wear a blast vest under their leather protective suit because the bike is essentially a missile. This is serious business. These machines do blow up from time to time and there is no other protection. Top fuel motorcycles require a team of three to five highly experienced mechanics who just work hour after hour on these bikes. For one pass, it costs thousands of dollars. Now, a key member of the team is the pilot. The pilot must be fearless, possessing nerves of steel and crazy fast reflexes. Top fuel motorcycles are to be taken seriously. Only the very brave and bold can race in top fuel motorcycle racing. For this video, Jocko is that fearless pilot. In 2008 and 2009, Jocko was the winner here in Texas of the Top Fuel Motorcycle Drag Racing. Dragbike.com had articles for both of those years describing his championships here in Texas. At this time, Jocko was going about 180 miles per hour in a eighth mile. On Facebook, you can find Jocko Mitchell and 24-7 Nitro Harley Race Team where you can see many more pictures of himself, the bike, and the team. And you might even pick up a couple of videos out there. Jocko owns and operates Ace Powder Coating, not only motorcycle parts, but car parts as well. He has had this business for decades, very well known in the area, does a fantastic job. You don't have to clean all the little detail insides of whatever he works on. When you get your parts back from him, they are ready to install. So, you could say that he's not only fearless for the bikes, but he's fearless in doing a great job at whatever he does. He is a very good guy, extremely easy to talk to, and he cares about his customers and the people that he's around.
Hate to do it, but it's time to switch gears to the CA 2020 news. Just some simple little basic information, and Kelly Blue Book has finally done their review. First up is GM Authority's article about expected changes, updates, and new features. So they basically outlined the exterior color options, the interior color combinations, and minor changes to features and equipment within trim levels and packages. They additionally go over the E-Ray and the Z06. Also in this article by Jam Authority, they say that they expect that the C8 will remain in production from now all the way through the 2026 model year. Well, I am late to the game. I think every car reviewer on the planet has already weighed in on the C8 Corvette. Well, it's better late than never. Kelly Blue Book has finally done a review on the C8. And if you scroll down towards the end of the article, they will tell you why you should choose a C8 over top tier performance cars. Kind of a decent little article. It goes along with some of the stuff that I've said back when I was looking at uh, supercars. All right. All right. All right, well, thank you for watching this video about Jocko and a little bit of C8 news. Y'all are great. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate y'all watching. You're great. And with all this, relax. Take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.